Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Anchor Star Wealth Morning Show. I'm your host, Allison Anchor Star, and today we'll answer one question and one question only how to reduce risk in a portfolio. But before we begin, as a reminder, this is a financial education presentation and should not be construed as personal financial advice. Full disclaimer information is available at anchorstarwealth.com. Good morning, Steve. The Federal Reserve raised interest rates yesterday by 75 basis points, and the market sold off hard at the end of the day. This morning, the market opened down as well. What options do investors have to mitigate the downside to the market? Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, glad you sound a lot better, Allison. Uh, I know you've been uh, fighting fighting a little bit of uh, sickness there. Uh, this Today's show is kind of a follow-on of, ye- of yesterday's question. Um, you know, what do you do? Why do you stay invested in a bear market? But, and you, so you do want to stay invested. You don't want to blow out to cash, but there are ways without going to cash to reduce risk in your portfolio. And that may be right for some of you. Now, you know, over the long term, if you stay long, stay strong, uh, and, and hang it, hang in there with the big, you know, think of it as a roller coaster, except you just don't know where the bottom of the dip is at the bottom when you're going down. That can seem super scary, but you do know that it's going to come ripping back up. And that's why you kind of want to stay invested and you want to stay uh, with a higher risk score. But if you are, if it's affecting you mentally, you're not sleeping, you are, you know, freaking out or not necessarily, you know, completely freaking out, but <clears throat> excuse me, overly worried about it to where it's affecting you, then what you want to do is reduce risk in the portfolio. Now, at some point you need to go back risk on. And that that's the difficulty is when is that? A lot of people will wait for the market to be down, which it is, go risk off, wait for the market to scream all the way back and then go risk on. And then, <clears throat> then you can get in a cycle where you're out of sync uh, with the market and that affects your long-term return. So instead of getting that 10 plus percent per year, Uh, average that the market gives you now your returns are like all over the map um, because you you know you you got fancy with it but if you need to do it I want to tell you how to do it and there is a you know a couple folks I'm gonna reach out today and say hey um, you know if this is what you want to do we can do this and it it may help put your mind at ease at least uh, during the selling period uh, that's going on so how do we do that again quantity um, we use it through risk align, you know, quantitative approach to investing is ultimately what I was going to say there. And you implement that through risk aligned portfolios, which again, we've had these around for a couple months. I was doing this manually, except for now it got to the point to where uh, it wasn't easy to go through. I mean, it just took hours a day to go in and actually make the trades versus using these risk aligned portfolios, which all have core holdings. <laughs> this is the core uh, that's tied to a risk number. And that's ultimately what you're looking at. Uh, if you've heard my risk aligned speech, it's a, it's a weighted average, if you will, of a number from one to 99. And I'll show you that scale here in a second. You know, if you're cash only, that's a one. Uh, we can go all the way down to a conservative model that's at a 26. It looks like a speed limit sign because that way you don't, uh, you know, it's kind of a speed limit letting me know as the advisor, don't take more risk than a certain level. Uh, and when you're tied to that speed limit, uh, you know, you you lose less when the market's down. Again, you're mitigating that down that downside, which 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 you're really being conservative for. Um, <clears throat> but you also mitigate the upside too. If the market comes screaming back, then you're gonna you're gonna miss a large portion of that. But that's kind of our lowest uh, one is down here at 26. So think school zone type of uh, mentality. Uh, full market risk is up at the 75 level. So there's lots of things in between there, depending on your particular uh, market risk. And then there's three of them that that are higher than market risk. So if you're looking for that long term maximum performance kind of of portfolio uh then that's 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 how you do that you take the risk but unfortunately with that you also have to take the ride uh, along the way which means the losses can look ugly for a while uh but the market is undefeated in time right so um you know that that's the philosophy is that this too shall pass and we'll be back to new highs and if you go back and study the rate heights rate hike cycles um the negativity gets priced in pretty early and, you know, I thought we were already done with it. And, you know, we'll, you know, when you look at where we are in relation to new lows, we'll pull up the SPY here. Um, you can see on a one-year chart, we're, we haven't tested the lows back from three months ago, uh, but it looks like we may, right? Um, I I think that's going to should be a resistance point. If we do start to hit that, I think that's when the buyers will come in. I don't have a crystal ball, nor does anybody else. So again, that's what keeps it interesting is it's all unknowable, but we haven't tested the new lows, but 
again, if you're if you're ready to uh, if you think we're going lower uh, on into the elections, then the way to do it is again switch out of whichever number you're at down into that you know 26 or 32 range, and, and then kind of go from there. All right, let me show you a little more specifically in our brochure uh, what we're talking about here as far as risk score and risk range. That was not it. Let's go back to. That should be it. Share that out. And, oh, no, one more time to this. There we go. I think actually it's shared out now. All right. Should be seeing the Anchor Star Wealth brochure there. Uh, I'm not going to talk to all of this while we're here, but it is kind of the, there's the investment summary. There, here's how we do it. The basis of intelligent investing. Again, we have an alignment. We're aligned to a risk number. It's a quantitative approach, and here's that that spectrum, if you will, from conservative to aggressive. If you can, uh, if you can see that there, I'm going to try to make this just a little bit uh, bigger while I'm talking. Um, zoom it up here. Let's go 100 and go. All right. So the you know here's your spectrum, if you will, from conservative to aggressive, and that's what we're looking for. Is this is going to be the core, and then you have some specialty things you can do on the for the satellite for the corn satellite approach but again this is what we're talking about when i say i'm sliding along the risk spectrum if you will so if you are a you know say employed 40 year old um that is doing great and no you know not really in you know in danger of losing your job you kind of stay risk on and you take you look away if you have to um but you're really looking to keep the risk on and you're acquiring right now through your 401k or through your IRAs or through your bank account money, you're putting money in now to take advantage of the lower prices. However, mentally, if you need to, just because you know the market's going lower, um, then come over here on the risk spectrum and go more conservative. Again, we can get you to a 26 without going all the way to cash. Uh, so you're actually still getting some income coming in from uh, from these investments, but we can slow things down for you. And then of course we have to have the conversation later uh, and you know, manage the timing of that, if you will, to go back risk on. So really, you're kind of in a timing move uh, there where you, where you think you're not, right? But you really are now trying to go into super active mode where you're timing the market versus just taking the entire roller coaster ride, knowing that it's going to come ripping back at some point. So uh, that's all I have for, for you today. So thanks, Allison. I think that's a good question. Uh, if you are sweating this downturn, reach out. Let's have the discussion and I can give you some options. Thank you, everyone, for your questions. Please submit your questions as a comment through social media or directly to our email at VIP services at anchorstarwealth.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe to get daily updates. That's all we have for today's show. I'm Allison Anchorstar. We'll see you back here tomorrow.